Alrighty guys, let's do a one year review on this Hilti Neuron Vacuum. Before the Neuron version came out, I actually wanted the same style in the regular 22 volt model. For the past year, I've been using this specific vacuum to clean out the truck, the car, the litter box, the dust that accumulates on the broom when I actually sweep the house. It's a vacuum, you guys. It's actually an awesome Hilti Neuron vacuum. But now I mainly use this to clean out the cars. And this is actually a perfect little guy to actually do that with. I love the handle position. It's very well balanced. I used to use the M12 Fuel one to clean out the cars, but I don't like the way that the M12 vacuum actually works. But all the hoses and the attachments are right there in your face. You don't have to open up any lid. Now this vacuum does come with a few nozzles. One of them is a bristle nozzle and the other one is a crevice nozzle. And it's nice to have a couple of nozzles that go into their own positions. Right, this does have an eco off and max option. And one thing that I absolutely love with Hilti's vacuums is you can clean out the filter as you're using the tool. Love it. It's not automatic. If you're using this vacuum, you're not doing hardcore work anyways, and so a manual filter cleaner is not a bad option. I do not use the strap, but this does have two strap positions, one in the back, one in the front. Got a quick eject button for the hose right there. And there you go. Of course, you could fold the handle in if you want a lower profile. Clean out the bag or filter. That's all you got to do. And as you can see, there's not much in there because of this specifically cleans out the vehicles. This is a four amp hour Neuron battery. Uh, it uses up two bars to do my truck thoroughly. A four amp hour battery would clean two vehicles. But this really is a nice vacuum. The model number is VC-75-1-22. This is OSHA Table 1 compliant and this is 74 CFM. This is able to use a bag and a filter or you could just use a filter. I only clean out the cars with this so I really don't need to use one of the bags because the cleaning the filter out once in a while is all I need to do. I use a different vacuum for a little bit more hardcore stuff. Maximum vacuum is 1.6 PSI, container capacity is one gallon, and the dust capacity is seven pounds. Hilti Neuron is a 21.6 volt system, and this does have an eight foot stretchable hose, which I think is fantastic, and that's actually the reason why I love using this, because I could set this somewhere and I don't have to worry about the unit toppling over. I have plenty of hose to do what I gotta do. And on the back, this also has a blower. One last thing, this is not a wet dry vac. They actually have a big water drop right there with a line slashed across it to make sure people know that it's, it is not a wet dry vac. The other brands have a filter cleaner button and some other uh, vacuums that Hilti has are automatic. This vacuum is actually my go-to to clean the cars. And I have other vacuums as well. I have Ryobi and I have Milwaukee, but with this specific VC75 model, I love. It's been about a year since Hilti sent this to me, you guys. I no longer have to have the paid promotion thing on there, so I'm not. I talked to YouTube about it, and so yeah. Not bad, one bar left, so a four amp hour battery did my truck this time. I did it very thoroughly, because this was the first time vacuuming my car since fall. And it is March, it is the end of March. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I just wanted to do this quick little video. I'll show you a quick around the shop really quick on what I did. Like I said in previous videos, I wanted to get everything organized. So I needed to figure out a way to know if I needed to update or upgrade a tool. And so now I have everything organized and it's going to continue to be organized because I'm missing a few things from a few different brands, which I'm going to get soon. So I could have my uh, tool categories complete for what I want to do. So that's pretty much it for this episode. I'll see you guys on the next one.